What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Lincoln Park is one of the best neighborhoods slash community areas in all of Chicago, with fun things to do like the namesake park and zoo, a great location right on Lake Michigan, and of course, phenomenal restaurants. And in this film, we're gonna take you on a food tour of Lincoln Park, highlighting eight of our favorite restaurants. So if you're ready to eat, let's get this food tour started. This food tour is sponsored by my Patreon page. Be sure to join the community as we take this content worldwide. And before we jump into the best restaurants in Lincoln Park, go ahead and finesse that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We are at the Budlong, famous for the Nashville hot chicken. This was started by Chicago restaurateur Jared Leonard after a trip to Nashville where he tried that local favorite, the hot chicken. He was so inspired that he came back, opened the first location in Lincoln Square, named it after the Budlong family farm, which was established there in 1857. We're in the Lincoln Park location, right on Armitage and Sheffield. I got myself a half hot chicken. This is served on Texas toast with pickles side of tater tots, also got macaroni and farm slaw. About to dig into my quarter piece, classic Nashville hot chicken. Mmm, wow, that is good. That chicken has an amazing crunch when you first bite into it, and the meat is super juicy. You can taste the spices, got a little kick to it, but it's super savory. Man, this is amazing. Came with some tater tots. You know we're all about the tots. This is incredible. I'm so excited. This is my first time here at the restaurant. I got myself some Bud Long chicken tenders. You can choose from any spice level, but I got the classic. It comes on top of Texas toast with pickles right on top. Mmm. Now for the chicken tender. Holy cow, that is delicious. The chicken is nice and tender and juicy. You've got the spices that come through so well. Got a little bit of a kick, but not too spicy. So normally when I order chicken tenders, I make sure that I get ranch dressing. That way I can kind of like mask a little bit of the spices. And if it doesn't have that much flavor, it adds to it. This one doesn't need ranch dressing and it is so, so fire. Good morning from Lincoln Park. We are here at Fire Cakes for our first breakfast on our food tour of the neighborhood. Fire Cakes has been around since 2013. They have a few different locations. Today we got a couple of double espressos, you know how we do, and three different donuts. A dulce de leche, cinnamon roll donut, and an old fashioned pistachio. I'm so hungry. Let's kick this morning off on the right note with a dulce de leche donut. I've actually never had dulce de leche in donut form, but I've had it in others, so mm. The donuts are made fresh every single day. The cream inside is good. It's not too sweet. Caramel on top is good. This is just a good, hearty donut. Perfect to start the day off with, especially with a little bit of espresso. Next up is the pistachio old fashioned. These old fashioned donuts that Fire Cakes make, of course, super solid. What more can I say? Let's take a bite. Mm, such a great pistachio flavor that comes through. The outside is crunchy, but the inside is soft and very cake-like good old-fashioned donut. We don't always get to start off our mornings with coffee and donuts, but when we do, it is such a treat. I am so excited to try this. I got the cinnamon roll donuts, and what's cool about Fire Cakes is that they have so many unique flavors. I saw a margarita in there this morning. This donut is light and flaky and buttery. It's like a cinnamon roll that you would have in the morning, but a donut form? I don't know, it's confusing, but it's so, so good. We are here at Cafe Baba Riba for some Spanish tapas. This is on Halstead Street, just north of Armitage. Believe it or not, this is Chicago's very first Spanish tapas bar, founded in 1985 by Chef Gabino Sotelino. He kept things 100% authentic, even had a wood-burning oven flown in from Madrid to Chicago. We're paying this spot a visit on our Lincoln Park food tour because they're always coming in clutch. So let's go inside and get some Spanish tapas. This is the classic red sangria. Looks really good, smells fruity. Our first tapa has arrived, ensalada de patata con alioli. That's garlic potato salad. There's that nice potato, creamy. This garlic potato salad is my favorite thing here. When I was little, this was the one thing that I made sure that I could eat every single time we would go. It's a cold potato salad, a little bit of a spice to it. Creamy aioli, very flavorful. I normally don't love potato salad. Something like this, I could really get down with. 
Our next tapa is here. It's the Catalan style crystal bread. It's a nice bread served with tomato puree and manchego cheese. Also served cold, similar to the other tapa we've had so far. All right. You really enjoyed that bread, didn't you? Mmm, that looks so good. Here we go. The bread is initially crunchy, but then it becomes soft because of the tomato sauce. The tomato has great flavor. It's really like ripe and sweet. So obviously tomato and cheese is a popular combination, but this cold puree and the manchego cheese, it kind of flips that combo on its head. And it's, it's really a complex flavor. The manchego cheese is very sharp. The tomato puree, cold, a little bit sweet on the bread. Very good combo. Our next tapas here, pincho de pollo y chorizo con piquillo. This looks really good. A lot of herbs on there, a good chorizo. Looks like it's in like an olive oil, okay. Mm. The chicken is really juicy, as is the chorizo. All right, the main course is here, paella de marisco. This is a classic. Paella dish. Definitely recommend getting paella if you're coming to Cafe Baba Riba. Brings the lemons, a little bit of aioli on the side. And here I think you have squid, bacalao, some other pieces of seafood. You know what I mean? You know how we do. They bring it to your table in the paella pan and they mix it up, serve it on the plate, put it right on your table. You're good to go. They usually serve two to three, so keep that in mind. It's two of us right now, but you know, y'all are here too, so that what oh, makes like uh, a few thousand at least. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this paella. Nice big sportful. Mm. Classic flavors of Valencia. It's a little smoky. The lemon really brings out the flavor. I didn't really get a piece of seafood, so let's try the squid with the rice. I do have to say, since quarantine and all that, we've ordered paella for delivery a couple of times, and it's still good, but when you get it brought fresh to your table, hot off the paella pan, nothing really beats that. So this is a great experience right now. I'm really enjoying this food. The sangria, all the tapas, top notch. Got some rich flavors of the seafood, a little bit of salt, and then that little hint of lemon. Perfect. Aloha Eats is another great Lincoln Park restaurant. They serve up authentic Hawaiian food. They've been in the neighborhood since 2004 and were another one of Barack Obama's favorites when he lived in Chicago. Before Aloha Eats, I never had authentic Hawaiian food. Really, I didn't even know too much about it. But since then, it's been one of my go-to restaurants. I got some Spam Musubi here. I got the combination plate, chicken katsu and fried shrimp. The combination plates come with white rice and macaroni salad. And what we got here is the local moco. Now this is a true Hawaiian special specialty and Aloha Eats does it better than anyone I can think of. This is a hamburger patty, house made with two eggs, whatever style you want. I went with sunny side because that's a little bit more traditional and some brown gravy. That also comes with white rice and macaroni salad. Let's get into this food. First, we'll try the Spam Musubi. This is basically a block of rice, piece of Spam. Of course, Hawaiians love their Spam and I don't mind it myself, so let's take a bite. Mmm, that is just a well crafted snack. You got the soy sauce inside the rice. The Spam is cooked up. Got some fried shrimp over here. Look at that, perfectly fried. They always throw down at Aloha Eats. A Little bit of tartar sauce. Mmm. That shrimp is flattened and then you've got the panko crumbs around it, so it's nice and crispy. The shrimp is meaty. Now we got the chicken katsu, thinly sliced chicken. Mmm. It's absolutely so good. And I'm hungry because I went to the gym earlier, got in a solid workout. Take a look at that macaroni salad. This is really, really well done. Mm. Time to try the loco moco. So you got brown gravy, sunny side up egg, a meat patty on top of white rice. It's gonna get a nice, nice big chunk of it. Mmm. It's just such a hearty meal. Overall, I would put Aloha Eats near the top of my recommendations list. We are at Del Sol for the next stop on our Lincoln Park food tour. This is one of the best Korean restaurants in all of Chicago. They specialize in street barbecue, Korean tacos. We got a hot stone bibimbap. As far as the tacos go, we have two shrimp, a crispy fish, and a calvi beef. Been to this restaurant countless times. They've been on the Michelin Guide almost every year. Another great stop on the Lincoln Park food tour. Let's get into these tacos. Always love to get this one. Crunchy shrimp, good sauce, corn tortillas. 
hot stone bibimbap. You have carrots, I think spinach, mushroom, fried egg, rice, gochujang sauce. And I bring it to you hot, so you have to stir it right away. Okay, for real, this shrimp taco looks amazing. See the shrimp in here? The shrimp taco has always been one of our favorite meal items here, and I'm always so excited and very, very happy that I order it. It's lunchtime, and we're grabbing sandwiches from one of our most favorite sandwich shops in Chicago, Fat Shallot. They're known for their gourmet sandwiches, BLT, grilled cheese, chicken pesto, po' boy. We've tried every sandwich on the menu, and we love them all. No matter what you pick, you can't go wrong. Today, we have the buffalo chicken sandwich. This is chicken strips drenched in a nice buffalo sauce. One of my favorite sandwiches on the menu. We also have the Reuben. This is house-made corned beef. Fat Shallot is one of my favorite sandwich places in the entire city. We eat here so much, so it's great that it's in Lincoln Park, our home neighborhood. Time to dig into these sandwiches. Skin. That looks so good. Mm. Still really crunchy. And that celery slaw, like I said, it's so unique to me. Of course, blue cheese always goes with buffalo chicken and the soft bread. It tastes like it was baked fresh this morning. We just finished our fat shallot sandwiches and it's afternoon, so you know what time it is. Time to get coffee and tea. Right here at Colectivo, this is another one of our favorite spots. Could we get an iced Windy City? And can I get the cold brew oat chata? Colectivo is one of my favorite options for coffee and tea in Chicago. Today, since it's a little hot on the hotter side, I got me the iced oat chata. It's basically like an horchata coffee but with oat milk instead of regular cow milk, moo. This is a great place to study, to get some work done. You can get anything from food, like sandwiches, to pastries. Today I got the Windy City, which is like a London fog, but instead of regular milk, I got oat milk in it. Okay. Mmm, that's good. Good horchata flavor with the cinnamon and the oat milk. Obviously there's coffee in there, super good. A plus. Delicious. Athenian Room in Lincoln Park is an authentic Greek restaurant established in 1972. And what I really love is they have a super simple menu, not a ton of options, but every single item on the menu is phenomenal. So let's go and get some Greek food. This was a favorite local restaurant of several famous Second City alumni, including Tina Fey, whose famous Kalamata chicken is what I ordered for tonight. The rest I got the char burger with feta cheese. We also got a couple of Greek salads, pana copita, and maybe a little baklava for dessert. Let's get eating. Got my chicken Kalamata style. This is a half chicken done in a Greek way. It is made to order and it comes on top of the Greek fries, which are basically like thick cut fries with vinegar, olive oil, and some good Greek spices. One of my favorite dishes, really juicy piece of chicken. And I also got a, a piece of a fry there too, so it kind of goes together that potato with the well-spiced chicken. They have similar flavors, so go hand in hand. The char burger with feta cheese. I've never tried this before, but it looked really, really delicious. The meat, and then a big slice of feta cheese. Here we go. So this char burger is packed full of flavor. You can see the little chars from the grill. Oh my gosh, it's nice and hot, and then it's got a little bit of saltiness from the feta cheese. Gosh, it's so good. Got some baklava, classic, simple Greek dessert. It's really good. In the comments below, let us know what Lincoln Park restaurants you'd like us to highlight next. And if you enjoyed this Lincoln Park food tour, go ahead and finesse that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I would really appreciate it if you share this video with your very best friend. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join my Patreon community. I will see you next time, but for now, I'm out of here. Peace and blessings.